to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There was a man sent from God. When he arrived on earth, they gave him a name. They called him John. Verse 7, why did he come? The same came for a witness. The same came for what? Is it ever written here that he came to be a prophet? So why do you call him a Baptist and a prophet? The Bible says he came for a witness. To bear witness of the light. That all men through his witness might believe. This is our corporate mandate. There was a man sent from God. When he arrived the earth, they called him Joshua Selman. And the same came for a witness. To bear witness to the light. That through his witness in the area of the fivefold, men might believe. There is a man sent from God who came as whatever it is. When he arrived the earth, they named him whatever name they gave him. He came as a witness to the light that all men through the business and finance being the geography of his witness that ultimately men might believe you do not define yourself by the geography of your witness you define yourself by this corporate mandate say i am a witness a witness has the singular assignment of validating a claim a witness is not necessary until there is a contention over a claim satan is there proving that jesus is not lord and forcing nations to disbelieve in jesus and he sent you in business he sent you in ministry he sent you in politics he sent you in the fivefold what you call the pulpit ministry sent you as an evangelist a prophet a pastor an apostle all together the corporate mandate is the same we have people in this church working in the worship team working in the media working in the protocol they are more conscious about the goal of the church than the geography of their assignment is that true the protocol is motivated by the same motivation the media person is motivated by the welfare all motivated by the same motivation to ultimately see that God's purposes as committed to the man of God is effectively executed. When a businessman starts thinking like a pastor and a pastor starts thinking like a businessman, when a politician starts thinking like a man of God and a man of God starts thinking, there is the sharing of that understanding because they are ultimately motivated by the same goal that all men through him might believe. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you he says there again jesus is speaking that you shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth say i am a witness the geography what you call your assignment is simply the geography of your witness if you are a man of god you are a witness using the pulpit as a platform if you are a businessman you are a witness using commerce and business and real estate and whatever it is as a platform if you are a politician you are a witness using the platform of politics and governance and the parliament as a platform are we together now if you are an academician for instance you are using the platform of academics very very important because many people you see please look up let me have your attention many people do not understand that being a witness is greater than the geography of the witness so you say i am a businessman 
you are right to the layman i am a preacher you are right to the layman i am a politician you are right to the layman but from a kingdom perspective you are none of these things you are a witness in politics you are a witness in governance you are a witness as a preacher are we together now you are a witness as a family man a father a mother you are a witness as whoever and whatever so your witness the consciousness of you being a validator and a defender of the claims of god is greater than the geography if you are with me say amen, amen. somebody shout i am a witness if you understand that you are not just a businessman but a witness as a businessman what you will do with that money will be different from someone who is just a businessman if you understand that you are not just a preacher you are a witness using the platform of preaching the way you will preach will be different the carelessness and the recklessness that happens around sadly around ministry business politics is because people do not understand that they are witnesses a witness is a validator that means everything you say everything you do is supposed to be proving the reality of the lordship of jesus christ is someone learning this morning hallelujah let's look at the scripture that i believe will bless you and then we'll find somewhere to tie it down for this discussion this morning the heart condition of a minister now when i say minister i mean first the fivefold ministers and then it extends to kingdom ambassadors where all ministers you understand what i'm saying now right there is a heart requirement listen very carefully god does not just use people carelessly there is a heart condition and a heart requirement that God looks for and let me tell you this if God does not find that you will never never truly be used mightily by God most people have missed out on the opportunity to be greatly used by God because of their heart condition Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26 Proverbs 23 and verse 26 very quickly please let's look at it proverbs 23 and verse 26 if you see it projected can you see it there please read with me let's read together one two read my son give me your heart and let your eyes observe my way please look up the first requirement is the correction and the surrender of your heart can i tell you everything you do that is right or wrong stems from your heart condition you may have heard me say it in my teachings you can fast all you want to fast you can pray all you want to pray you can do every kind of night vigil or spiritual exercise you want that the only thing that gives your spiritual exercise is credence is the state of your heart please say the state of my heart the state of your heart vetoes your fasting the state of your heart vetoes your prayer the state of your heart vetoes your word study the state of your heart vetoes your good communication many people have every other thing in place but the state of their heart the motivation behind your heart the things that you do can i tell you allow god in the next one minute to do a surgery in your heart there are people who got into ministry fivefold today simply because they heard that when a man preaches they give him honorarium and they feel instead of getting a job that i'll be collecting 40 40 000, where will i gather enough to build a house let me quietly go to the vineyard that corrupted motif so after three years when it looks like it's not happening it will be easy to receive power from the devil because your motivation was never to see jesus glorified 
there are others who their motivation for getting into ministry is because someone looked down on them and said you will never be great and he said i will never be great you will see and they went to answer the call other people got they submitted their job with nmpc civil defense you know all of this place and i'm not being sarcastic they didn't seem to get jobs and they say instead of wasting away at least let me be a pastor i know that there will be one member who believes in me enough to sow into my life off they go other people i ministry just because they just feel like i love god too much and what will i do with this this amount of love i have for god i can't waste it away business is too small to express that love so let me get to ministry your the state of your heart is what gives you the staying power in ministry if the state of your heart was corrupt from beginning no matter what activity you are involved with believe me you will end up being frustrated is god speaking to someone in my experience and and many of you may have heard me say that my desire was never to be a man of god to be a preacher no no i just loved jesus with my all and sincerely in whatever capacity he wanted me to serve i would be grateful more than grateful to serve that's why it remains an honor for me today to be given the mandate that he has given me by grace and i do not toy with it because the sheer level of gratitude to be trusted with this level of grace it remains ever before me are we together the state of your heart you go and ask the lord every time i go to god in prayer i'm not praying lord more power more anointing more fame more increase thank god for those things but believe me my greatest prayer till today is lord search my heart try my thoughts and find out if there is any wicked way oh david you may never know that there is a murderer in you you see let me tell you how the heart condition works when you see god not bless and help certain people don't fight him he knows what he's doing if you saw the little david you would never know that there was a murderer hiding in that boy there are many wrong things in our heart that an opportunity has not yet been created for it to find expression but it does not mean it is not there for instance you never know whether you like women or not to you you say god for me no women may god forbid it how do they do that thing in the name of jesus christ you go and ask david you never knew that you can fight and kill because somebody called you joshua selman instead of apostle joshua selman you didn't know that there was that lust for power and honor and while you are starting god says beware work on this can i tell you whatever god tells you to work on don't argue just work on it whether you understand it or not you never knew that you could kill for money you could tell lies you never knew that you could sit down in front of a herbalist and say i'm tired of this it must work by whether if god is not going to help me what the heaven helps those who you know those kinds of wise sayings that come from frustrations and now you sit down there i know you are laughing but i hope you are learning when your heart condition is wrong when christ is not the center of your heart no matter what god tells me today about my life i will not argue i will go quickly to roll before him and say lord i don't want to wait until i see it if you say it you are right let god be true and every man a liar this is a lesson for you to learn because there are many many preachers today who do not have any allowance for god to keep vetting and probing their hearts as at the time you said god i love you you've never stayed in a five-star hotel you've never flown private jet or first class or any kind of priority or superior service so it was just ignorance that was saying i love you it was not really knowledge there was nothing to lay down you were already down what are you laying down but by the time you are in the midst of plenty 
God lifting and honoring you and helping you can you still go back and say God they may be clapping for me but here is my heart again I'm sharing with you a very deep secret more than just learning principles and principles and principles if your heart condition is wrong you will do every principle right you will be shocked it will still not work your heart condition I am ever aware of this when God begins to lift me or opens any door very quickly I go to him Lord your boy is here again with all the human tendencies people clapping calling you king of kings and lord of lords don't say it will enter you go and ask william branham go and ask people who have gone ahead of you you rush to god and say before i destroy myself out of foolishness vex me and god says you are doing well but lost be careful it's already beginning to grow you don't say god god forbid you are rebuking god forbid no pride in the last two weeks it's like pride is already growing deal with it that spirit of competition is already at work in you the moment he comes to you like that rejoice rejoice can i tell you you may have heard it in my teachings you know a man who is a man of the secret place because you will never see any deficiency for a long time you will see this for two months pride is growing one day you will just see that it has gone you will know that the secret place the place where men are changed when you see people continue to grow in certain levels of error for a long time it is because their pride has covered that aspect of them they don't give God allowance to prune it and work on it John 15 the person I love is the one that I prune so that he will bear much fruit you may not like what I'm teaching you this morning but if it's fruitfulness you want in ministry forget that pride of perfectionism go back to God in sincerity till tomorrow till forever I will never go to God with any sense of perfectionism no we live in a world where we are obsessed to look flawless before men you better go before God and roll on the ground and say God please search my heart it's not self-condemnation let people keep calling you whatever they will clap for you the day you crash they will bury you and move forward so if the heart of men, men are wicked they can clap for you and call you all kinds of things let ministry go down you will see the same people who call you king of kings who say crucify him when Benny Hinn was younger in ministry am I wasting your time when Benny Hinn was younger in ministry Marilyn Hickney told him something she said Benny if you can find five people who love you sincerely and believe in you you are about the luckiest man on earth he laughed and he told her that it was kings that receive him when he goes he goes for crusades of course i'm saying this now with all honor to him and because he has shared it himself when he had a challenge you know in ministry marriage and all of that in 24 hours half of his partners left sir half the people who are saying we will stand with you and preach the gospel with you nobody cared to verify anything everybody just went to your tent to israel and he stood there broken with bills in debt it is painful when those who say hosanna also say crucify him so before you allow the flattery of men to destroy you let me teach you that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother run away from that celebrity deception and stay with the one who will stay with you no matter what happens this is a message our generation of ministers need I receive over 800 text messages every day and I thank God and I honor the Lord for all of these people I sleep and I wake up to all kinds of commendations but I can tell you I know that there is one and one alone who can accommodate all the versions of me where would I be if you left me where would I be if you left me is someone learning your heart condition that's why God can take another man's prayer request and give to one as a gift because he has found your heart condition so right I pray for myself even as I'm standing here 
with you may i never get too big that god cannot search my heart and tell me his verdict you see the person who loves you is the one who will open up to you like this because most times when we come as preachers we just patch everything and just no the secret is not just in expertise there are times where your boat is right there are times when you are at the sea where you should catch fish there are times when you have the net but you will still not catch fish it is not an error in your system there is just no fish at that point you to take a relationship with the one who can give fish there are times if your net is torn you won't catch fish but there are times all the principles are correct if there is one secret i want to teach you today about ministry there are a few other principles that are powerful but the greatest of them that i've seen in my life and believe me with all humility i know what i'm saying people call me every time and say apostle you are this you are that how come these results and i say oh dear you do not know that this man who stands before you is the puppet you are seeing there is one who is behind him there are certain things that cannot be done by men is god speaking to someone you need to allow god to vet that pride vet that whatever it is especially our generation of preachers let's be careful we live in a world that is obsessed with being celebrities yes enjoy the honor and whatever blessing that comes with ministry but please learn this about men men are very self-centered if they clap for you they are only clapping for themselves through you you're my treasure my priority who can compare to you for great is the measure of your royalty oh morning star you truly are when i learned this in life I thank God for all that represents honor that he has given to me but I have trained myself every day sometimes I stand before a mirror and looking at myself I say Joshua Selman you were once a baby in the hand of a woman do not let the nation celebrate you out of your secret place they were not there when God started they only met you at the corridors of greatness and they don't have enough patience to stay with you stay with the one who started with you when you did not look like it preachers some of you here are frustrating yourself and killing yourself over land and building issue leave that and go back to the secret place go back and say lord i may not have members i may not have great followership across the globe but one thing i have is you and you are that treasure are you learning lord what is it about one billion that you cannot give me and he says you are right your heart condition i love you too much to give you one billion what do you mean you love me too much when i gave you 10 million i didn't see you again you disappeared and ran away morning devotion i'm flying business class i have to hurry up and he says just because of 10 million naira no i love you too much to keep you in that state you know when people claim things in church now i'm a man of faith don't get me wrong but when people claim things you know sometimes i just watch with wonder and i say what do you think god is a robot when you read in the bible that his last treasurer betrayed him don't just say god give me money find out what the treasurer did not do because god is still looking for treasurers his last one disappointed him and if you come and say lord i want to be your treasurer make sure you are not judas again can i tell you go and learn all the greek and the hebrew you can learn 
if your heart condition is wrong you will be surprised how you will know so much and yet doors of ministry will not open go and try to know all the connections of men go and learn the principles go and receive different anointing oils from men of god and pour it at once on your head because of how determined you are to carry the anointing and you will be shocked you will only look like a herbalist nothing absolutely nothing will stay there because your heart condition please do not forget this jeremiah 17 from verse 9 and 10 the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it any man including joshua selman the heart of man is desperately deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it verse 10 please read together if you're a christian and you can see it are you ready one to read i the lord search the heart i try the reins even to give every man according to what not according to his begging not according to his desire according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings let me tell you sincerely believers i have had the honor and the privilege of talking with the fathers of faith in this nation and across a few other nations i've had the honor of learning wisdom from several people i can tell you behind the giant genuine exploits that you see is a heart that is broken humble malleable before the god of heaven when people say great people are proud i say compared to what someone can bring me a cup of water now and based on someone's mindset this is pride why didn't i go and carry it myself so when people say people are proud i say based on what standard you have to look at where the person is standing first you can meet someone washing my clothes now and say it's pride what is it about washing that you... <laughs> ah! believers please go for a retreat use this conference and go it's an advice go for a retreat in that retreat don't put your hand in your pocket lie on the ground flat carry your certificate carry your bible carry your ministry csc document and say lord i hand everything over to you if you do not help me i don't know what tendencies are in my heart carry your business your company whatever it is your accolades and cry before god and he will come to you and say because you have shown me that your heart is right let's go and i'm telling you it will look like you held a charm in one month god can open doors for you in a way that will surprise you i know what i am saying has someone learned anything so whilst you are seated before i just wrap up and touch on the remaining and then we'll pray wherever you are you're going to lay your hand as, on your chest as a point of contact and cry before the God of heaven. Lord, I am not ashamed. Check my heart. You want to kneel down? You want to stand? Please. It's, it's a moment of genuine repentance and soul searching. Cry before the Lord. I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend Help me find the way Bring me back to you
Sabranda Gadebala Katosiata. You're all I ever need. You're all I want. Help me know you are pray vet my tendencies oh God the arm of the Lord is not too short to open up doors or to lift you in business in politics in ministry it is a state of your heart that circumcision someone is praying nothing to be ashamed of Someone is praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. This I know about God. Take my heart and mold it. Take my mind transform me will you take my will conform me to your to your oh Lord take my In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. Please bring out three people for me right now. I just saw fire just moving. And because of this prayer of brokenness, there is an anointing, particularly one of them. That, that grace is an evangelistic dimension, but it does not look like it yet because you are still in the place of prayer. Three of them. I'm stretching my hands now. The power of God will come on them. One of them will even start running. Please hold them and bring them out here. 
as I share with you the other principles. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I truly cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords. Of lords, you are the King. Of kings, you are the Lord. Of lords, your glorious majesty. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven and I'm seeing a mantle for restoration. It's coming on seven people. Bring, bring them out too. Seven. For one of them, several things have gone wrong in your life and family. You are not directly ministry, but I'm seeing this anointing. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I speak by the Spirit of God. Please help our mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Restoration. May that mantle come upon you. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with song of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength hallelujah who is that your doom I'm hearing the name Abiodun. Is there someone carrying that name? Abiodun. Abiodun. The Abiodun I'm seeing is wearing a black suit. Is there someone like that? Abiodun. You are wearing a suit. What's your name, sir? Just verify first. What's your name, sir? Abiodun. You, you are a member here? No, sir. You came for this meeting. You yes, believe sir. in Jesus. Yes, what sir. do you do? I'm, I'm just working on my own. I'm going to pray for you. You believe that God can lift you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, I command this wicked spirit that has tied you down and tied your destiny down to give way now. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. My friend. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I just saw an anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. Madam, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, I don't know who this woman is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he's restoring. The month of April is your month. God is bringing strange restoration, even by the Spirit of God. 
is there someone called Caleb I'm hearing a name Caleb 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 there is a woman here the name of your son is Caleb who is that Caleb Huh? I came because of Caleb. Can, can you help us with the mic? Oh, you came here because of Caleb. Is it technical help? Jesus. Huh? Hmm. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise for you are highly lifted up, awesome God. You are highly lifted up, Abala Shalagadabadia. Mama, please stand up. Are you a member of this church? You can, what's wrong with Caleb? Caleb used to be very, very devoted to God. I sent him to Canada. I don't understand what's happening to his faith. As I speak to you, he has blocked my line. You see, my dear people, hear me. There is no limit. One communication of the prophetic with balance is about to save this woman and save her child right now. Now, but hear me. This is the warning. Because many of us, when God begins to use us like this, back to my prior discussion. I am a man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. It is that pride and, and lack of brokenness that stops God from advancing with his grace and gift upon our lives. There is nothing extraordinarily I'm doing here. You see, look at this woman. How can I stand here? and come and sit and know that a woman is suffering with a now imagine this woman came for a minister's conference and she believed that she came for her son how in the world can i know that her son is in canada i've never met you i don't even know who this woman is man of god this is how far god can take you when you become broken enough this has nothing to do with being an apostle or prophet or whatever no it is how far God is willing to solve the problems of people. Now, let me ask you a question. Is Jesus glorified in this process? Because if this same woman comes with that her son, Caleb, and holds him, that boy is in Canada. Mama is here. But you can see her crying because of the pain. This is what should happen in church. That people should come and know that they met Jesus. Jesus glorified more than a man of God being glorified question how do you have empty pews under this condition mama in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God you will never forget this conference for what God will do I release that grace upon you out the spirit that is at work in Caleb that would not allow him to serve God by the rod of a higher priesthood I decree and declare right now here at this conference we declare restoration for Caleb yeah. hallelujah IK I think your name is IK now but they call you IK IK for short I have just a few minutes is there someone like that IK where are you You love Jesus God is going to use you but there is a lot of work that God needs to do with you my friend huh don't be embarrassed there eh? this is a minister's conference our father here too your son is IK no problem I'll pray with you that's all right please just leave them I want to pray for you where are you coming from sir huh Ujota. Ujota. no I mean state of origin I want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of Christ tying down your destiny it must give way daddy please place your hand on your chest I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down high blood pressure this is BP is that true yes sir. Huh? yes sir I want to pray for you it's going down now there is a name above every other name 
look at our father at this age this man is crying ah. Ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be adored. Daddy, please do not cry. Honestly, I feel so touched. Someone, please help this man with. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, sir. Standing in faith with the grace upon the man of God, and I declare first for your BP. High blood pressure goes down now. Are we agreeing with this man? It goes down now. And I pray for your son, I.K. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be your desire. Where is he? What does he do? He's working with. He's working at home. He's working with a company. I'm seeing God. That gentleman is going to be a big businessman. You see, yes. I don't know, but I'm seeing the name Onicha. You see. That name on each other. God is going to connect him to someone within that place. Let him not fight it when it happens. There is a hand of God that has gone before him. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be so. In Jesus' name I pray. Please sit down in one minute. Huh? Okay, this gentleman, let me pray for you. You see, you are as good as your friends. You are as born again as your friends. If you are born again and your friends are not very serious, it will eventually affect you. Are we together? I'm speaking in parables. You hear what I'm saying, my friend? Don't be, there's no such thing as we're classmates, we grew up together. You must get to a point in your life where anybody who is not pro-kingdom in your life, they must remain at the outer court. You must culture your relationships if you intend to be serious with God. Father, help your son in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God's grace rest upon you. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. The cry of a baby. Is there someone here who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb? I'm hearing the cry of a baby. This is what I'm hearing in my ears. Look at this. Help her. My God. You will be surprised to see what the God of heaven. Shalina haske de branda gaduzi atala kusia prahastana. All of you who are coming, except if you are standing for someone, but please make sure you are married. Otherwise, go back to your seats. Praise the name of the Lord. You are trusting God for a baby. Madam, shout Jesus. Jesus. My sister, look at me. Lift your hands. Shout the name Jesus. Just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. That demon, haras kudeba shalanda kapose diat abarasudia, keres kudi mahashalabada kasudia. My friend, look at me. This man, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, I correct what the doctors have told you is stopping fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to believe in the power that is in the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise you. Take your eyes away from the medical report and trust the Lord. Just believe what I'm asking you to do. My sister, this lady, I'm seeing fire coming on you. This is what I'm seeing now. And I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Now in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let that demonic thing leave you now. 
I want to pray for all of you because I heard the cry of a baby. The power of God will come upon you as I pray for you. Father, every legal access that the devil has over their fruitfulness that will not allow you to enjoy the blessings of fruitfulness right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare, release them now, 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 now. Release them now, now. Paros Kadekapa, release them now. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I declare to you like Eli spoke over Hannah according to the time of life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God according to the time of life let there be fruitfulness for you now help this man help this man in the name of Jesus fruitfulness now Your name is to be hallowed. I declare to you, as you have come out, you will come out again. But this time you will not be alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, that woman there, is it for yourself or for someone else? Huh? This woman. For my daughter. What where is she? She's in Delta State. Mama, I will pray with you, but lay hand on your own stomach. The miracle is for you first. There is something God wants to take out of your stomach. Is that true? Huh? Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital for it? Yes, I will sir. pray with you. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Release Mama now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even before I pray for your daughter, I'm praying for you. They will not tell you something is growing in your stomach that requires surgery. I command it to go now. Be released right now. And we pray for your daughter. Even as you have stood in for her, let there be supernatural correction right now. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Return to your seat rejoicing. Spare me 10 minutes and we're done. Please sit down. Five requirements for effective ministry. Five requirements for effective ministry. Number one, every ministry, particularly the fivefold now, but it extends to every facet of ministry every ministry that will excel in today's world every ministry that will thrive and represent the purposes of God must have these five pillars if they are not there you cannot have fruitful ministry number one a mandate or a message every ministry that must excel must have a mandate and have a ministry a, a message many preachers have messages many preachers have series but you must have a mandate and a message that becomes the dimension of god committed to you your mandate in that universal plan there is a mandate apportioned to you if you are oral robots your assignment is to take the healing power of jesus to the nations if you are reinhard bonke of blessed memory your mandate is to bring the healing and the saving grace of Jesus to Africa. There must be a mandate that drives your life. John 3, 16. Jesus himself was speaking to Nicodemus and he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have life everlasting. Very clear, very simple. Most people do not have the message. Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. Your message is very, very powerful because that is where your value comes from. Can I tell you, it is the message that makes the messenger powerful. The messenger is not independently powerful. He is as powerful as his message. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly 
that God had made the same Jesus whom ye have crucified both Lord and Christ simple message in one sentence do you have a mandate and the message every church every pastor every apostle every prophet in as much as generally speaking we have a corporate agenda of revealing and glorifying Jesus but there are dimensions to that call and there has to be a clear definition just help those under the anointing you see this is why you find out that many people are many things according to circumstances the man can stay today and find out that the evangelistic seems to be most marketable and he becomes an evangelist then he finds out that the pandemic has really stopped crusades and quickly switch to prophecies because you can do one on one and then all kinds of things this 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 confusion around the body of Christ is because there is no mandate can I tell you every church including this must have what the Bible calls the things that are most surely believed among us if this is a healing ministry then I expect that the greatest conviction you should have should be along the area of the power of God to heal if it's a ministry that has been mandated to raise people financially as a contribution to the larger picture you should not have members doubting the God who can supply Luke chapter 4 when you look chapter 1 when you read from verse 1 to 4 right he was speaking to Theophilus dr. Luke and he said that the things that are most surely believed among us everybody said the mandate can I tell you every attack on a man of God every attack on a minister is an attack on the message it is not an attack on you help me please the goal of every attack it does not matter in what dimension it comes when Satan attacks you every attack has one singular assignment to discredit the message and the mandate so that your voice will no longer be heard you protect your ministry by protecting the message the apostle said this is the message we have received from the beginning we were given a message as ye go preach saying go with that message the signs will follow the message the mandate are we blessed your message also defines your unique contribution to the body of Christ everybody cannot be everything no matter how yielded you are you must be able to brand your impact with your message your message is what brands you your impact very quickly number two the second requirement when you sort the issue of your mandate is the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message the vehicle or the strategy that will drive that message that means is that message going to be driven using the pulpit is it going to use business the geography of your witness can I tell you it's not enough to know your message you must know the vehicle and the strategy that will drive that message that's where we talk about the concept of the seven mountains the mountain of religion family politics business education media arts and entertainment these seven mountains they represent the platforms where you can stand upon to make sure that that mandate is heard very important most people have a clear message but they do not understand that until you have a strategy a vehicle in this case now the pulpit the pulpit is the strategy or one of the strategies and the vehicles given to the man of God to communicate that prophetic dimension that God has given him number three very quickly what do you need for effective ministry an organized platform you need an organized platform you need an organized platform it's not enough to know you are sent to business 
you are sent to the fivefold ministry there has to be an organized platform that brands your impact are we together look at me when you hear holy ghost congress what comes to your mind when you hear shiloh what comes to your mind when you hear power must change hands what comes to your mind do you ever confuse it because more than the mandate there is an organized platform that brands your impact when you hear coca-cola do you think of uh, what other huh? do you think of pepsi no they are all watches but when you hear a rolex watch you don't think of others because they brand themselves when you think adidas what do you think of you see isn't that interesting that adidas has nothing to do with football yet when you call adidas it is football you think about and yet they are a clothing line because they want they knew that their greatest sales will come from that area and so they connected their relevance to football so every time you call adidas look up please whenever you want to go and buy seasoning most times what do you say you are buying whenever you want to buy toothpaste what do you say you are buying oh so you know this here too that is the power of an organized platform there are many people today can i tell you this if you want to be relevant in ministry make sure that as you rise your platform rises too it is the mistake that was made with the west and the reason is because of other issues like taxation finance and the rest so they have personal ministry you'll be surprised now don't feel embarrassed oh no i shouldn't say this i'm on life but you see there are times that you can know a man of god and not even know the name of his church is that true but you see the danger with that kind of setting is you cannot reproduce your results you can't raise other people the job of a platform is to allow for continuity beyond you are we together now apostle babalola is long gone yet the platform of cac still continues to raise men is that true an organized platform number three number four I wrote here that and verse 20 divine backing is the sixth divine backing and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following confirming the word with signs following matthew chapter 28 and verse 20 still on divine backing still on divine backing matthew chapter 28 verse 20 matthew 28 20 teaching them to observe
you is with you divine presence and that backing how do i sit down for instance and say there is somebody called caleb do you know that level of risk imagine if every case i called here nobody came out imagine if i said the power of god will come on you and the person is looking at me you are enjoying it because you see it happening and you see the results you see and this is not just the issue of faith this is an issue of trust because there is a history to it your faith can graduate to trust when you keep archiving the history of god's faithfulness a time comes you know because it is true but you know because there is a track record are we together but right now god is going to tell you after this meeting to try it too and, <laughs> and many of you are going to make mistakes that will surprise you you will leave a meeting you were invited in as if you came for a funeral don't worry be very honest and you are not you are not a habali so learn with honor you will hear john and you will say john the person will say my name is james not john <laughs> how about your third child you say i'm not even married <laughs> and members can give you a look that are you sent who brought this man here don't worry it's better to train yourself and fail with honor so that the day you get it those who laughed at you will be witnesses and said we knew when he was in the school of the spirit say divine backing every time we travel we travel knowing that there is a hand that backs us as i stand here i know that there is a hand that backs and defends me this is why when we speak we know that you will return with testimonies for instance like this woman that the hand of god is touching this mama you this one lifting her hand I'm seeing oil coming on her head right now this woman you see now you imagine this how do you take that kind of risk something is coming on you in the name of Jesus Christ that others who saw you will say is Saul also one of the prophets and I'm prophesying to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead every ability that has functioned on this altar by the man of God by myself and every other man of God who has been here and will be here this combined graces may it rest upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please hear me now I want to give you one last key one last key the last key that I will leave with you if you truly want to break through in ministry is the power of sacrifice Psalm 50 verse 5 I'm not necessarily talking about money don't frown just listen gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me whether you serve satan or you serve god sacrifice will be required somewhere my sister i'm seeing a hand come on this lady and the lord is saying he's opening a new chapter that lady help her in the name of jesus christ now please pay attention our time is up sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your life you will never effectively do ministry when you want to be everywhere can i tell you ask the man of god when you answer the call of god upon your life there are things that you have given up as a sacrifice now our generation with an appetite you cannot you cannot i'm not please don't feel bad you can't be traveling every time to go and watch manchester football in the stadium there and you're an apostle and you're an evangelist thank god for it maybe when you're on vacation but you cannot have the passion of a footballer and have the grace of a man of god it does not work that way you cannot give god part-time commitment and get full-time anointing now this is the part that most people do not want you pray for 10 minutes 
pray for five minutes study your bible carelessly for two minutes and you want god to trust you with the grace and the unction for nations it does not work that way say the power of sacrifice i beseech ye brethren romans 12 verse 1 by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies unto god holy and acceptable he says a, a, a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God he calls it your reasonable act of service or worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed it takes time to know God it takes time to learn doctrine it takes time to study the materials of those who have gone ahead of you it takes time to be consistent with the Holy Spirit there are times God will ask you to lock yourself and for a day, two days, three days. There, you see, this is our generation of preachers don't know anything about retreating yourself to flog it out with God. People fast by 12, they are shaking as if they are, they are, they are on, 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 a, um, um, on a drip or emergency or, or something like that. Can I tell you, don't let anyone fool you. There are impartations from men of God, but there are wells you must dig by yourself. I can assure you on that if you want the anointing you must be willing to lay down you cannot get the anointing without laying down something when Elijah wanted to command fire from heaven the prophets of Baal as they kept calling Baal and he refused to come they started lacerating one another that was the last card to call him they blood 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 out of their body they understood something about the relationship between fire and sacrifice are we together when it was now time for Elijah to bring it he set 12 stones the covenant and he put a sacrifice on the altar and he said pour water on it he said God the stage is set and fire came down if you become that fire and that sacrifice then you are ready for the anointing most people are not ready for the anointing they are ready for the excitement that the anointing brings they are ready for the honor that the anointing brings can i tell you genuine mantle and genuine fire comes at the instance of sacrifice i have not really had the time in all fairness i will tell you to properly sleep in days now i have my way of just working things out we were just discussing i think it was yesterday and i was just thinking to myself the man of god was saying he's traveling to this um dr lumide was saying he's traveling and, and you just think about this and you're saying whoever told people that ministry is for lazy people they think all it takes is just preach sit down in the office take coffee while people just stream in with dollars and honorarium whoever gave you that narrative is destroying you at least when you are employed by the government you have your time seven to five or four whatever time after that they don't have a right to disturb you without rewarding you but there are times on earth that both god and men need your attention if men allow you rest god can say wake up two o'clock and you are moving around your house as if you're a madman for a burden that is not your business you are moving around because a disobedient member is getting into trouble and god is waking you up to midwife that trouble are you ready for the pain of ministry they met jesus and said we want to sit down at your left and right and he asked them a question can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism this is the last prayer point and i'm done you are going to lay hands on your head and say lord whatever price it takes to obtain the anointing and the grace for my generation for this season for my season of advancement and relevance i obtain grace your place in business find your place in ministry if it is the prophetic find it now the apostolic find it now the pastoral find it now let me pray over your finances please look up there are many dimensions to wealth and abundance principally it comes through your value packaged to products and services and served with excellence to a targeted consumer base that's what you call business 
but there are other dimensions to it value relationships laws of increase but to the believer we are not left without an advantage there is the prophetic dimension of wealth wealth by the finger of god he said believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe in his prophets so shall you prosper i want to speak over your life please believe in March, I stand by the mantle of God upon my life and I decree and declare may the heavens be open over you financially may the heavens be open over you financially in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like help that lady please my God we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he said the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negative i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead every captivity help that lady please i turn it around right now 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 Go and prosper, prosper in ministry. Go and prosper, prosper in business. Go and prosper, prosper in family. Go and prosper, prosper in career. Go and prosper, prosper in this city. I command Lagos to be open for you now. And let me pray over every member of this great assembly serving with joy serving with passion for the bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages in the name of jesus christ i decree and i prophesy i use this as a point of contact to all the branches across the world connecting by faith the global family of this vision i decree and declare rise to a new dimension I declare advancement for you in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father I pray that your people will never be the same go from glory to glory and grace to grace in Jesus name dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! the face of development lord grant me the discipline 